Hey guys, how you going? It's Nim here. It's been a long time that I made a video, but today we're going to be doing something really fun. So you guys are going to tag along and hopefully I'm actually going to keep making more videos because I took a little little break to, you know, do other things, go on holiday, um, save some money, do some more work. But yeah, now I'm back and I'm ready to make Nim's Dream 2.0 or make a little change to what I've got right here. So as you guys can see, there's nothing that actually been changed in the car and it hasn't been driven for a while actually. If you guys remember, I used to have um, NKRPF1s on my car and I recently sold them and I've got a new set of wheels right here guys. So today we're actually going to go get get tires put on. I think I'm going to be going 265, 35, 18. Going a little bit more thicker than last time which was 255 but it was also 17 inches while this one is 18. The SSR GTO V2s. So let's take these out. Yeah, so they're pretty cool guys. I think they're 10 spoke wheels and I'm pretty excited to get these put on. A few moments later. Hey guys, the wheels are in the car. From what I know guys, these wheels are similar weight to the RPF ones, if not a little bit, little bit heavier. I actually haven't been to DHF tires in a while, but guys, there's really no other place in Melbourne I'd go to get tires. They always hook me up with a really good price. A better look at the wheels. The tires we're going to be running with Fenders. Alright, two more wheels to go. I actually forgot to show you guys before. I've actually got these center caps from SSR that came with the wheels. So this is what the center caps actually look like. They're pretty clean. Yeah, the center caps actually look really cool. Now that all the wheels are in guys, all I gotta do is grab the torque wrench and torque these wheels to the right amount. From what I remember, I think it was 75 foot pounds or 100 Newton meters, I'm not really sure, but I'll check that on the on the internet and we'll sort it out. From the front, it's just as aggressive. The car is officially on the ground. No, not on any wood planks or anything like that. This is where I'm going to leave you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you guys love these wheels as much as I do. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hey guys, I'm so sorry for taking this long to upload this video. I know you guys have been so nice asking me on Instagram and in person where my videos are gone. Well, I'm back guys and um, I'll try to upload a lot more videos for you guys because, you know, my, the work on my car is going to start pretty soon. There's a big plan for it and I'll let you guys know in, a, in an upcoming video. But anyway, this is it for today and I'll catch you guys in the next one.